everyone, this is Coach Julian, hope you're well. So what you see behind me is what you may have in your own city and town, which is an exercise park. Um, and what I'm going to do for you today, I'm going to show you a couple of exercises that are not traditional. Um, as you will see, when you go to your exercise park, you're going to notice different type of boards that's going to show some basic exercises. Say like for there, it was for bench dips. Um, and then there was another billboard here and basically sit-ups. So what I'm going to show you today are some awesome body weight exercises that you can do. And one of the awesome parts about it is that it's gonna help counter the negative effects of sitting in smart devices, recruit more muscles, more muscles will equal more calories being burned. Last and not least, it's gonna be fun, ties into mental health, and every effort will always count. So keep watching. So almost all exercise parks will have something similar to this. It's just a basic bench. <clears throat> and usually in the description, they use, they use it for doing sit-ups. So what we're gonna use it today is gonna be for a lower body circuit. And I'm gonna show you a couple of exercises you can do in them. So simple squats, right? We can do that. Now let's take it up a notch. Let's do some single leg stuff. So we could take a seat. My foot is up, pull myself up. Now we turn it into a single leg squat. Again, I pull myself up and now it is a single leg squat. I can show you a side view. So before I do this, I take a big inhale, up, and then three, two, one. So that's one movement. The next movement will be a lateral squat. So essentially, I'm gonna step out to the side, come back to a single leg squat. Up, I move, knee, hip, foot tracking, stop, and I'm down. What do you think? post in the comments. I have much, much more to show you. So I showed you earlier a knee dominant exercise or exercises, the single leg squats, lateral squats, and I still a hip dominant exercise using our here, our new friend, the bench dip bench. That's what they have it labeled as. So we're gonna, we are going to do a hip thrust. So before I was gonna do this, I was like, wow, I wonder how, if this is going to be uncomfortable in my mid back. Guess what? It's not, it's fine. And you can always put a towel or something behind. So my mid back has full contact with the, with the bench. I'm gonna scoot out so you can see me more. I'm gonna do a single leg. Well, let's do a double leg. So my head, my spine, and my whole torso moves as one unit. My feet underneath my knees, I drop my bum. I'm looking straight, drive my hips up. That's your hip thrust. Inhale as I go down, I move as one unit, and I'm up. And we can turn this into a single leg. Three, two, one, and then I'm up. Three, two, one, and the hip thrust comes down, boom. How about that? So there is a nice cool variation of, of how to use this bench. Let me know what you think, but keep watching. I got more for you. Okay, next thing I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you some pull-up variations. I'm gonna have to position the camera once I get up there, but I'm gonna show you a chin-up, which will be palms facing in, a traditional pull-up, but uh, I'm gonna take it a step I'm um, going to also show you side to side pull up and one of my favorite, which is called the in and out. So if you be patient with me, let me position this happy little gadget up higher. All right. And here I go. So I'll call out the exercises as I do them. So this is a basic pull up, palms facing forward. This is a chin up. This is a side to side. One, two, and then this is an in and out. I come up halfway. Oh. All right, so I was unable to do the in and out because I just got caught by surprise. That's a, a really wide grip bar, which is fantastic. So a wide grip, anything like if it's a barbell or dumbbell, if you're doing grip strength exercise, we want to have different variations of widths. So this happy guy up there, the bar is pretty wide. And I did for three different pull up push pull variations so i just got fatigued i'm gonna go back up and show you my favorite old school in and out pull up so let's bring this thing up all right guys wish me luck it's all good so you bring your elbows to 90 degrees and you go forward back forward back forward back what was going forward and back was my chest so from here forward back forward back that is my in and out pull up hope you like it but guess what i got more for you my friends so you, 
again, most exercise parks but have a very similar layout. Um, again, like a, what they call a sit up bench, a dip bench, and this also nice contraption, which you can use for push ups. You know, you can use the bars, high planks, but I'm gonna show you a cool hip exercise that you can do on it. So let's get after it. Basically, all you're going to do is stand just different heights, bring my foot over it, and then back. Now I can do the opposite over over so these are much lower bring it up and over up and over think of it as a hurdle what you're working are these muscles which we also want to make sure they're strong there's a single leg balance involved it's win-win so why not mix it up let me show you a couple of um, push-up variations using what they call a bench dip bench that's what it's called on, on the board but we're going to use it for other functions i'm going to do a push up to the bench but I'm going to turn into a one arm push up kind of so check it out so I want the my chest to touch the bench I'm up then my right hand touches my left shoulder say for one seconds two or three and I'm down bench chest and then I can also do this by alternating now when I do this movement I want to make sure my back is completely straight so my bum is not dropping and of course you can do traditional basic push-ups exhale you can do just shoulder blade push-ups what that means is i go about halfway i squeeze my shoulder blades and i push out or you can just hold this as a high plank regardless you know just take advantage of these exercises and enjoy so i have another variation for you for a pulling exercise earlier i did some about four different pull up variations and chin ups now you're going to notice in these exercise parts you have these other bars that are lower fantastic so with these and the, the one that's higher too, first thing you're gonna notice some of the bar width could be narrow or wider, like the one I did up earlier was super wide, but you can even hang from it, just literally hang. That's a good exercise in itself. It's an isometric where you're supporting your own body weight, but I'm gonna show you an inverted row using this one here. Basically, here's the setup. I go underneath. There's a couple of ways I can suspend myself and hold myself here without hyperextending. I know it's hard to see, but I think you get an idea. Or I can pull myself up. So I'm a one-man show. Let's see what Coach Hulu can do here for you. So you can see better. That will work. Let's try again, take two. Here's my setup. I can hang my body straight or I can pull. Exhale as I pull. You would do that for a couple of reps, I don't know, 10, five. Just test it out. The whole point of this video is just to get you active and just to explore what you have in your neighborhood. You know, when we're outside, if you're not having fun when you're working out, then you're missing out. And just just bear in mind, any physical activity is is worth it and every effort count. Now, I am I just noticed here in this exercise park, they have these hanging bars. So I am just gonna do, and you're gonna see, and you may laugh, I'm gonna try to go one way and come back. Hanging exercises are fantastic for your shoulder, by the way, and it's body weight. And basically, you're gonna use your own body weight, and that is a form of resistance. All right, that's enough chit chat. So let's see what I can do. Here. All right. <laughs> All right, so that was enough for me. I've I did some other activities, just, that's a little cop out. But just giving you an idea, there's so many things you can do here. You can do some non-traditional exercises, as I just showed you in all those other videos, but there is so much more you can do. Now, if you have any requests, please post it in the comments, send me a message, and I'll be more than happy to help you.